Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN InfoTech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn about Essential PIM, the best personal information management software. With Essential PIM, you can manage your appointments, tasks, notes, contacts and passwords all in one place. Not just that, you can absolutely synchronize all this data across multiple devices platforms and cloud applications. Now let's practically see how this software works. To test drive the software, you can download the fully functional 30 days trial version. I have given the download link in the description below. Essential PIM software is available for Windows, Android and iOS versions. You get both free and pro versions. You could also get a portable version that works without installation and with just your flash drive. Now let's download the software. Click on the download button to start the download and save it to your computer. Once the download is finished, launch the installation file. Now you can click on next and follow the on-screen instructions. So you can select the version like whether you would like to install it on your computer or you would like to install it on a portable device and then click next. Click next again, click on I agree, now select the destination folder and click next, then click on the install button. Then click on the finish. So this should run essential PIM software at this point if you have bought the software you can enter the serial key and use the full version or to simply continue with the trial version you can click on the ok button as already said the trial version is fully functional for a period of 30 days now let's click on the ok button So you can select the language like I am going to choose English and click on OK. So at this stage if it prompts you to sign into your cloud account you may simply skip this step because we are going to test the desktop version. Now you can select the appearance whether light or dark mode and then click on the OK button. You can change the appearance anytime by going to the tools and clicking on options and then going to the appearance and then selecting the theme you want. Currently it is set to the light mode. Let us see how the dark mode looks like. I'll just click on apply and OK. So this is how the dark mode should look like. And again for the icons you can select either legacy or modern icons. So currently it is set to the modern. Let us check the legacy icons. So there you can notice the changes. So I would like to switch back to the light mode because I prefer working on the light mode. Yeah. Now let's see how to use this software. So before uh, getting started with this software, I would like to suggest that you refer to the help file before using this software. To refer to the help file, you can go to the help menu and click on help contents. Here you can find 
all the information related to essential PIM software like you can learn how to work with the calendars how to work with your tasks how to work with your notes how to work with contacts how to manage your passwords importing and exporting synchronizations working with your cloud and many other details okay now let's understand the various parts of the essential PIM screen um, this is the menu bar and this one is called the navigational panel and this is the calendar and this is the module toolbar and uh, this here the bigger pa part of the screen is called the main view and these two actually shows the options relevant to the selected uh, items on the navigation panel now say for example if you have selected the calendar the module toolbar shows the option accordingly like say for example the new appointment uh, now if you click on the task you can see the option add to route and if you click on notes again you can see the similar option here and the main view shows the relevant options accordingly the options here are pretty much easy to understand and self explanatory now say for example if you would like to create an appointment you can just click on the calendar and then click on new appointment and then you can just uh, enter the start date and the end date and then the name of the event and the duration of the event etc and then click on the ok button similarly if you would like to create a task you can just click on the task and then click on add to root button and give a task the name and then the details of the task like when it needs to take part I mean when it needs to take place etc and you can just click on ok in the same way you can create a note and you can create contacts, mails, passwords and all of this ok now let me show you a practical example that can help you use essential PIM software better now let's imagine if you are a website designer and you probably have more than a 50 clients then you might probably want to know when to renew the domains and hosting plans and if you have any plugins you might also want to know when to renew them if you are using wordpress to build websites then probably you may also want to know whether the wordpress version is up to date hence you will also have to remember a lot of logins and passwords etc most importantly the task needs synchronization okay now let me show you how to create manage and synchronize the tasks and passwords for this live situation okay now let's start by creating the passwords so first when you click on passwords you can see add entry button here but I would like to add the group first because a particular client can have various passwords like say for example the domain password the hosting password the wordpress login password etc so there needs to be a group of information for a particular client now let me type the name of the client say for example client1 and click on ok suppose if you would like to select an icon for this you can just pick an icon for this like this and then click on ok button 
now you need to select the group that is created and then click on add entry so that you can create the individual passwords under that main group so now this the first entry I would be uh, saving uh, the domains password like say for example the client has a domain with godaddy godaddy.com so the you can enter the username details like say and the password credentials here and then the uh, url finally the url so you can just enter the url here and then click on paste and then click on ok now again i would like to select the same group so because i am going to create uh, the other login details for the same client like say for example the hosting details suppose imagine the client has got the domain in a, a with a different company and hosting with a, another company so hosting let us say this is the login details for hostgator hostgator and then again the login details like that and then the password credentials and here the URL and then again uh, I will be creating one more and this time it is going to be the WordPress login details And this is going to be the login URL and then click on OK so one particular client can have multiple passwords like this so now if you would like to just log into a particular um, domain particular uh, website or something what you can do is you can just launch the internet browser keep the cursor there come back to essential PIM and then, then right click on the particular item and then click on auto type so this will fill in the login details of the particular item whether it be a, a wordpress login details or a domain or hosting login details suppose if the auto type is not working for you what you can do is you can come here and simply click make a double click on the username or the password credentials so making a double click will copy the username or password to the clipboard which can be used within uh, um, 50 uh, seconds or so now to create the next client you will have to click on the main route that says my passwords otherwise if you have the old client selected the new client will be created as a sub client of that first client so you will have to click on the my passwords that is the root then again click on add group so again I'll just take an icon for this click on ok so now this is going to be the details for the second client and in this way you can create multiple clients you login password details one after the other now so far we are done with creating the password details now let us see 
how to create tasks for them and synchronize with passwords. Now to create the tasks, you can just click on the tasks on your navigation panel and then uh, you can just click on the add route or you can just click on the drop down here and choose whether it's a main uh, root task or a child task so i would like to just create a root task so i'll just click on this add to the root and then i'll say domain renewal for client one And then I would like to link this to the password credentials. I'll just click on the related items here. And then I'll just click on the passwords and then click on add new and then go to the password section here and then select the client one and then I'll just choose the GoDaddy enable. So now this task should be scheduled on a particular date. So say at five or ten days before so i need a reminder so so that i can inform the client that his uh, domain is going to get expired now let's suppose if the domain renewal needs to be done by february 15th that is the actual due date i would set the due date here that is february 15th and i want the re reminder should happen uh, from you know uh, at 10 days earlier so i would like to select a date um, which is 10 days before the actual due date so i'll just select this say one two three four five and one two three four five maybe this one yeah so the reminder needs to happen on 10 days earlier so that is on 5th so and this needs to be repeated until the due date so i'll just say repeat every one day so this expires on 14th so then finally i can just click on ok done okay that's all for this tutorial i just attempted to give an example on how to use essential pim software thanks for watching please like share and subscribe with your friends